when we talk about Muharram and Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam, it's not only about mourning and azab. There's advices of Prophet Jibreel alayhi salatu was salam. The narrations and the ahadith that they are the guidance for all of us. And all of these ahadith and the verses of Quran and advices of the holy people are all explained in Muharram just because of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam. So the reason of our gathering is not only azab, is not only crying for Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam. This is only one side. Our real aim is trying to explain the real aim of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam for his revelation. What was that? Imam alayhi salatu was salam explains that in his will. If we claim that we are the follower of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam, if we claim that we are the lover of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam, if we claim that we really love Ahlul Bayt alayhi salatu was salam, we have to try to correct our acts, our deeds, our a'mal. This is what Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam wants. <coughs> Imam alayhi salatu was salam, Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam is a shining example of freedom, honesty, equivalence, and loveliness. He is the love, he is the example of love. What does it mean? This means that Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam, even he is nice to his enemy. We look at the history, we look at the ahadith. In his last moments, what does he say? In his last moment, Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam prays for those who killed him. Still, Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam doesn't want adab or punishment or punishment for him. This is the path of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam. If we claim that we are the follower of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam and Ahlul Bayt and the Prophet alayhi salatu was we have to have this quality which is forgiveness in our life. We should have forgiveness. We should forgive. Forgive the family, friends, enemies. When we talk about enemy, Quran explains the enemy. Enemy is not my brother. Enemy is not my friend. Enemy is not the human. They could make mistake, but they cannot be my enemy. Quran explains the meaning of enemy. The evil is your enemy. Why? Because shaitan ya'ibukum bil faqri wal fahsha. And shaitan could be a human. A bad friend could be an evil friend. A human can be changed to shaitan, to evil. By what? By doing haram things, by doing bad deeds. So why we are with together? It's because Imam Hussain alayhi salatu was salam fought for freedom, for hurriyat. What is the meaning of freedom? The meaning of freedom is we are free to have communication with everyone. Look at the verse of, verse of Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, جَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلًا لِتَعَارَفُوا This ta'arafu has a lot of meanings. One of the meaning of this ta'arafu means communication. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created many groups, many tribes, just to, to tell us to communicate with each other. So if I am from Pakistan, I should try to connect, to communicate with a friend from Iran, with a friend from Afghanistan, with a friend from America. 
doesn't matter. We all must understand this important thing under the name of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wassalam that for Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wassalam, hurriyat and freedom means humanity. If I care about humanity, I will be the real follower of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wassalam. If I feel racism and I feel like I am the racist, I cannot be a friend for Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Imam alayhi salatu wassalam did not put any difference between his companions. Same thing he did with Ali Akbar, he did with John, <coughs> his slave. When he was passing, when he was dying, in his last moment, Imam alayhi salatu wassalam goes to him, even he is just a slave. But Imam has the same treatment that he has with his son, Ali Akbar, with his slave, John. No difference. For Imam Ali Salatu Wasalam, is no difference between black, white, slave. No nationality is important for Imam. No language is important for Imam. The only thing which is very important for Imam Hussein Ali Salatu Wasalam is the humanity and being a good person being a good person means a useful person the one that who can help people that's why Imam Hussein alayhi salatu was salam stood up against Yazid because his government was full of corruption it was corrupted and he wasn't care about he didn't care about the regular people the regular humanity he was just care about the people. He just care about the his family, his friends, and his people in his government. The real people, the good people, the regular people were under the pressure of poverty. They were under the pressure of racism because at that time, you know, there was a big difference between Arab and the people who are not Arab. If you were not Arab, you were not respected. The language was important. The color was important. But Imam alayhi salatu wasalam did not want any of those. For Imam alayhi salatu wasalam, everyone is equal. For Islam, it doesn't matter. What is your nationality? What is your language? What is your race? Islam doesn't care about it. The only thing that Islam cares is in akramakum inda Allahi atqakum. What is the taqwa? The taqwa means having a good relationship with people, being a humble person. We just saw the advices of Jibreel alayhi salam to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him. Jibreel says to the Prophet, live. However you like, whatever you live, you will finally die. Don't forget that one day we all will die and we all will be buried in the same way. And we all will become dead, just like other people. But we have to be ready for it. We have to understand this, that the life that we have right now is just a test. Just like college, just like class. We are in the class right now. We have teacher. We have books. We have classroom. We have school. Who is our teacher? Is the prophet. What is our book? Is Quran. Where is our class? This life, this world. Every moment is important for you in the class. If in the class, while the teacher explains to you, you play with your phone, you're not going to learn nothing. The teaching will be nothing for you, will not be useful. But if you listen to your teacher, you will pass the test. That's what Quran says. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبُ if you claim that you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have to follow the Prophet. 
What is the path of the Prophet? The path of the Prophet is respecting to humanity. It's creating love to everyone. It's respecting everyone, just like Imam Hussein alayhi salam. <clears throat> Being a free person from slavery and corruption and dhulm and injustice. <coughs> this is the message of Islam and Quran and Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam. That's why we get gathered together every year. And the 10 days, we just want to talk about Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam because he is the real and the shining example of the humanity. That time we will know who is the real human and who is not the real human. Who is volume, who is darkness, and who is the brightness. Yazid, what kind of quality are for Yazid? What kind of qualities are for Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam? Then we explain it to the world. And the people will make a judgment about Imam Hussein and Yazid. And they will find the right path. Just by looking at the qualities. Just by looking at the behaviors of Yazid and Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam. Then we can tell to the people who is our leader and who is the leader for the other people. Who is Muawiyah, who is Amira. That's why I always say, my brothers and sisters, please, crying for Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam is the best thing. It's the, it's the biggest tragedy. Everyone can cry for Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam. It's a big hasana, it's a big sawab. But it's not our aim. I don't say you don't do zanjir or sina zani or anything like that. We have that on the side. But we cannot do it in here a lot because the people are waiting to look. Just just today, just today, one of my customers told me about Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam. And he says, only he, he told me one thing that made me so upset. He just said, is all those people who hit themselves and their bodies are full of blood, are they the follower of Imam Hussein? He's Christian. He doesn't know anything about Imam Hussein. He doesn't know anything about Islam. He doesn't know anything about Ashura. That's why our ulama, our marajah at this time say, it's not the time. It's the time to explain to the people who is Imam Hussein, who is our leader. Why did he fight with Yazid? Who is Yazid? We have to explain about Yazid. We have to explain the situation of that time. We have to explain the law of Islam, which was not, at that time, nobody was doing it. Everyone was following Yazid. They did whatever, they were doing whatever they wanted under the name of Islam. No, we have to explain, especially in this country. The people are waiting. They don't want to look at the videos for, for, full of blood. The blood cannot explain Imam Hussein. The blood is just a sawab, but we know. But they don't know that. They just look at the appearance. We have to explain for them, especially at the colleges. If we go to the college, we have to talk to the people. If I have some people like me work, we have to explain to the people. These things are very important. And then the second advice of Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam to the Prophet is وَعْمَلْ مَا شَيْتْ فَإِنَّكَ مُجْزِيٌّ بَيْهِ Anything we do, anything we do in our life, we will see the result. The American people has a good saying, whatever goes around, comes around. If I do good things, I will face with good. If I do bad things, I will face with bad things. This is the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the words of Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in Surah Al-Mubarakat Al-Isra, in ahsantum ahsantum la anfusakum. Wa in asatum falah. Anything good you do, you just do it for yourself. Anything bad you do, again you do it for yourself. Wa'alam anna sharaf al-mu'min qiyamuhu bil-layl. If you want to be respected by people, if you want to be loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, don't forget praying at night time. And don't try to respect 
people just because of their money, their position, no. Just respect people because of being a good person. If the person is not qualified to be respected, but you don't respect him. Just respect human as a human and as a good person. If I see a dhalim and I respect dhalim, this is against the verses of Quran and the path of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wa salam. Ijma'al salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Assalamu alaykum ya 